Good. Two brothers, two worlds. Okay. Yeah. And today we're working on the Hornet. So, um, as you know, Carl's now got his Hornet. And, uh, <laughs> they're on. And, um, we'll put the two handles on. New bars, new grips. Uh, new bars. So, as well. Full set of. <laughs> so, uh, let's get into it. Right. Uh, as you can see, what we're doing at the moment is we're just removing all our control. So, on your braking clutch levers, just have a few bolts here, 8 mils, I believe, in case you want to know. Uh, just undo them, leave a dangle, it should support itself on its own cables anyway. And then on your switch controls on either side, it's just two cross head screws, that's it. <laughs> to get these off, it's really, really simple. On, that's how it's done. <laughs> Right, so what we're doing now is I'm sat on the bike uh, and I'm going to get it into a comfy position. So we're just putting these in so that it's got something to hold on to. And then we're going to adjust it until I find it comfortable. Or the way it looks cool. <laughs> Fuck the comfort, it's got to look cool. It's got to look cool. up this side more than that side you'll find that there's a big gap on this side and a small gap on that side you don't want that you want it equal all through this even pressure all the way down a few days of riding, make sure they're tight, because sometimes they might vibrate loose a little bit, or you can throw a little bit of lock tight in there.
All right, sorry about that, guys. We forgot to drill a hole. <laughs> On the underside of the controls, you have tiny little, what are they, like nipples? Yeah, nipples is the best way to call it. And uh, you just have to drill a hole on the underside of your handlebars. So the best thing to do is just get your old ones and use it as a reference. So that one, ignore that one. That's a stupid one for like extended bars. But that one's the one we use. So we just basically measured how far it is, got it to where we needed, and just drilled a hole in it. Done. <laughs> it's kind of simple. Now we're just readjusting ourselves back because uh, we adjusted it so that we could drill. Now, let's reattach all the controls. Alright guys, we're going to be showing you quickly, uh, while we're doing the bars and stuff, how to install grips. So it's kind of easy enough, we've got some uh, Renthal dual compound Kevlar reinforced grips here. It's kind of new, so I, I like to go for the tough stuff, I like it to be durable and last like 5 billion years. So, pretty much all you need is hairspray. <laughs> I think that's in camera shot. There is. Somewhere around there. <laughs> and your grip. Go ahead, yeah? <laughs> no? yeah. And slide it off. Nuns <laughs> Fucking is. Well. Yeah. I'm gonna ram that bad boy up there. <laughs> Get in there. Bike's gonna fall over. <laughs> Fuck me, dude. <laughs> Ah, that makes life a whole much more easier. Fuck, we should have done that from the beginning. There you go, that's on. Does that go off? Clip over that bit there. Does that stay there? Uh, I think you can, but there's no there's one. Not much space left. There you are. Done! <laughs> Tires and nuts off. Just when you do it, if you've got ones with patterns like on mine, um, they've got writing on them, make sure it's nicely aligned, because otherwise you get screwed writing and it just doesn't look right. Doesn't look good. What you want to do as well is try and keep the edge of the grip away from your housing of your switches because if that rubs against that it could cause a throttle jam and I don't know if you've seen Chase's video the other day someone's throttle got jammed up and he came off so don't do that <laughs> keep it nice yeah.
right in. <laughs> Bad guys on that side. There you go. Let's throttle them. Just leave their grips now set, nice and solid. And uh, you can go right in within half hour, probably this one. Give it enough time for it to dry out. And Jay's just currently doing it on the side right now. Oh, oh, yeah. she was coming out. All of that is now just like too much spray, basically. Left over spray, that is. And when that dries, it's going to turn really tacky and sticky. And on that side of the, the bars, you've got knurling and stuff, so that one's going to be really solid. And that one's your throttle side, so try not to get too much of that sticky stuff in between the bar and the actual throttle like body. I don't know what to call it, something like a throttle sleeve thing. Also, do know um, if you, your handlebars and your grips do slip a little, you can use handlebar glue. Um, you can get it from most places, to be honest, if not, get it on the internet. Uh, yeah. Your local parts place will have it. Support them. <laughs> Alright, that's the bar's almost done. Just need to tweak them a little bit and that's it. Last few things now, as you can see, we just put the grips on. So, get all on nice and snug as a bug now, using hairspray, quite easy. Uh, now I'm going to quickly run down, just check all your controls. So, obviously, start your bike like that. Turn your lights on, high beam, low beam. Real indicate good? Yep. Yeah. Off? Yep. Front and light works. Brake light? Yeah. Front brake light? Yeah. Rear light on? Yeah. Sweet! Now the only one to test now is that one. Yeah. 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 Off. Start it up. Now there's no <laughs> there's no exhaust on it at the minute, so this might be a bit leery. Check the kill switch works, and it does. Hey! Right, that's uh, how you install rental bars. Um, if you notice in that I don't have it, the plastic thingy, the, the sponge, I don't like it. It looks kind of dirt bike-ish and horrible, so I'm just not gonna have it. It looks kind of, you know, industrial and strong and stuff without it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Street fire. Just a few little tweaks and stuff I'm gonna do is like tighten these, and that's it. So stay tuned for the next episode, and hopefully we'll be doing other stuff along like exhaust and maybe you know, maybe throttle c cables and stuff like that that I have to replace not that they snap <laughs> and hopefully levers soon they will be next thing probably brake and clutch levers so stay tuned I've been Carl I've been Jay see you soon